This is Joseph Larasha, what is Life Kenya Program Manager. Uh, I just want to uh, take this opportunity uh, to explain the drought of Kajados County. That actually, you know, Kajado County is always known as like uh, most of the people, most of the number of the people depend on livestock and some depend on farming. And for two years now, we didn't get rain. It happened that, that is how the way you see the ground, it's like nothing. Everything is dry, not even only dry, we have only soil alive there. Nothing else alive apart from soil. Um, and trees, trees are alive. But any small thing like uh, grass and the small leaves, nothing is alive. And for now, um, our people who rely on mostly livestock and crops are really suffering because uh, for those who rely on crops, they didn't get crops for two um, seasons now, so they have nothing on the stores and they have nothing planted last time so they have zero and for those who rely on animals uh, life stock are very skinny now some of them will lose like more than 50 percent of our life stock the some who are alive are really skinny they have to be uh, uplifted by our people so they are unsellable. So, and the economy itself of Kenya is very high since uh, the drought is there and we have been having like some um, challenges like election. So the economy itself is very, 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 very high. Even in the schools, when I just take a very simple example of that schools. Schools, when the children are going to the schools, you get some of them, they are um, getting nothing from homes, and when they go to school, they are not able to, um, to understand what the teacher is saying. Because at the homes, they have nothing. They get nothing from home, and they get nothing from school. So um, I'm just really requesting for the supporters and for the well wishes to help us uh, for anything who is can help uh, at least to can help the schools, we can help the needy community, the needy people. So I am really requesting for the well wishes to help uh, what they can at least um, to try to find the way we can keep these people alive. Actually, the drought is almost killing people. As you see on the news, the Gado County is really suffering a lot. So am I requesting, I'm just requesting for any, any help for anybody who is willing to help, at least some donation to buy some relief for the school, for the needy community, try to help them.